Morning everyone, Miss Pod here again. So today we're going to be retelling the final three paragraphs of the catch. So you should have already done your first three paragraphs yesterday and what I'll do, I'll set you that to do again from yesterday so that you can continue on the same page with that, right, in the final three paragraphs. So again, I want you to try and include all of the things that we've learned in year three. So we've got fanboys, I saw a wabub, Expanded noun phrases, similes, metaphors, fronted adverbials, ambitious language, full stops and capital letters, commas for lists, commas for contractions, commas for possession, correct tense, personification, prepositions, adverbs, correctly punctuated speech and using a or an correctly. Now there's all the examples down the side here, so if you want to pause the video and have a look, remind yourself, then that's fine. So paragraph four is when the boy sees the giant fish. So I need to think about where it's come from, why has it appeared, how does the boy feel, how does the fox feel. Now you should have already done this in your storyboard planning. So keep referring back to that and that will help you with your writing. So there's four things I want you to include in this paragraph and that's a fronted adverbial. So remember put that at the start of your sentence and then put a comma afterwards. An expanded noun phrase, ambitious language and a fanboy. OK, so it's trying to include all of those. And if you want to include any more, that is amazing. And then paragraph five, trying to catch the giant fish. So why are they trying to catch it? How are they moving? How are they feeling? And I want you to try and include an expanded noun phrase, a simile, I saw a wabub and ambitious language. And again, any more would be amazing. Now, paragraph six, this is a final paragraph and this is the catch. So think about these things. How do they catch it? How do they feel now? How has the relationship changed between the boy and the fox? What happens to the fox? How does this make the boy feel? And again, in this one, I want you to include an expanded noun phrase, a metaphor, a simile, a fanboy, I saw a wabub, and ambitious language. So this will probably be your longest paragraph that you write in. And try and end it in a way that sort of brings the whole story to a close, to an end, okay? Now I'm just showing you the waggle again from yesterday. So it's just a waggle of the first paragraph and it's just an example of what I would like your stories to sort of look like. So I'll go through it again. So amongst the bright green trees, there you've got your expanded noun phrase, a distressed looking boy was sitting with his head rested on his leg. His eyes were gazing into the pond in front of him whilst his fishing rod danced slowly from side to side. So there you've got your personification, your metaphor. The boy was waiting eagerly for his tea to jump out at him whilst his stomach called for the fish to come home. So once again, you've got personification and a metaphor. All of a sudden, comma, there's your fronted adverbial. The boy saw his fishing rod jolting into the water. His eyes widened with anticipation. As he struck the metal pole with a splash, comma, there you've got your front stag verbial that is also including um, as at the start, which is your subordinate um, clause. A bright orange, expanded noun phrase, a fish, appeared on the end of the dwindling string. Carefully, the boy placed the slippery fish into a bowl that had been sitting empty for what felt like years. Finally, he thought, I am going to be eaten like a king tonight. So again, you've got three things to remember. Remember to reread to check that it all makes sense. Check that you have included all the things on the success criteria. So if you check through, if you go back to the start of the video and pause it and just check that you've got all of those things in your writing. And it's fine if you want to change things from yesterday, add more things into that so that you've included them all. And also make sure that you've tried your very best. Now, you should have at this